Bart's Heritage, I suppose, the way to think of us, we're the guardians of the past. We were founded about five years ago to take on the historic buildings, to restore them and to reopen them. So we are a separate charity with a very specific function. The Grade 1 listed buildings here at St Bartholomew's Hospital, which includes the North Wing and the Henry VIII Gates House, are some of the most important monuments in the country. They're certainly the most beautiful buildings in any hospital in the country. We have to make sure that the architecture is properly repaired and conserved and the art, which is all around us, is beautifully and carefully brought back to life. Hogarth chose two biblical stories, Christ, the Pool of Bethesda, the large canvas behind me, which was actually painted off site and brought in and installed, it was so large. And on the other side, of course, the Good Samaritan, I think this is represents the modern medicine. This is man healing man, this is the hospital in action. So the spiritual origins and the continuing work of, of doctors and physicians. A very important architect called James Gibbs came to Barts as a governor and offered his services for free to redesign, to modernise the hospital. The first building that the governors decided to put up was a grand hall where they could invite the city wealthy in to see the good work that was being done. So the idea was you would come to this building, you would come up this magnificent staircase, walk into the Great Hall, you'd be so impressed, you'd want to leave money to the hospital, you'd want to be involved with this great philanthropic endeavour. And at that time, if you wanted to go to heaven, the one thing you did was make sure you'd donated to charities and preferably had your name placed on a wall or over a door or whatever. This restoration project involves stabilising the fabric of the building first of all. The roof needs a lot of work, there's water ingress. There's issues that if we don't tackle soon are going to cause major problems to the building itself. There's the stonework, the windows, the doors, and it requires the very best craftsmen to carry out that work. And here we are in 2023, the 900th anniversary year of the hospital. And I'm delighted to say that the spirit of philanthropy has lived on and helped us to reach our fundraising target of nine and a half million pounds for the first tranche of works. Over half of this has come from the National Lottery Heritage Fund and other grants from charitable trusts, city funders, and really generous gifts from individual donors, many of whom have really close associations with BART's. So we can begin work on site to restore the building, but also to introduce the programme of wellbeing activities in collaboration with the hospital and the public programme of events. Whilst we have a really big conservation project ahead of us, we don't want to do this behind closed doors. We want to do this alongside the public. So the Sharing Historic Barts project gives us this amazing opportunity for the first time to open up and reveal these amazing spaces and their stories but also to connect to our communities, the hospital community, our local neighbours in West Smithfield and visitors further afield. Thinking about how can these spaces that are at the heart of this working hospital play a better role at nurturing and supporting staff, particularly at the times we've had recently. One of the things we've learnt is how important it is to have an opportunity to get away and into a space that provides something very different, has a very different feeling and that connection to culture, art and heritage. I think allows people to reset and feel that they're part of something historic. Spend a bit of time to have a look at this, uh, this painting and then I will ask you questions. What I'm trying to do is to teach my registrars the technique to try to enhance the visual thinking and the development of the creativity, enhancing their clinical skill, but also a little bit of a human being as a, as a whole. So the North Wing itself can act as a catalyst for inspiration, for respite and for recovery. You know, it is phenomenal that the building's had this sort of history of use within the hospital and keeping that going is really important. But uh, wider than that, the contribution this building makes to the public realm and to the City of London is really important. And one of our aspirations for the building is that there is that sort of wider public engagement with it. We want people to be able to take part in behind the scenes tours, get up on the scaffolding, get up close to the work that the conservators and specialists are doing. 
We're due to complete the project in 2025 and the building will reopen then really to allow public access for the first time in its history. But that's really just the first phase and there's a lot more of the building to bring back into life. There's the archives, there's a museum, there's the gatehouse, that wonderful building that heralds the hospital from West Smithfield. So we've got a lot of fundraising still to do and we hope that this first phase will inspire people and, and make them realise just what a transformational project's underway. We want to work alongside a wide ranging group of partners, both cultural, artistic, creative, historic, to look at how we can constantly be revealing other layers to the stories here. That continuity of care for 900 years on the same site is obviously unique. And what's so amazing is that we have the records of so much of that story. Deeds from the medieval period, governor's minutes from the 16th century onwards, we've got objects, paintings and uniforms. There's still a huge amount of, of research to be done and new stories to be drawn out and actually the Shared Heritage Project is an opportunity to unpick some of those stories which haven't been researched before. The identity of Barts is in these spaces. 